Hi, I'm Rick with Junk Butlers. It's azjunkbutlers.com. We're in Peoria still. We're continuing this video of this mobile home, single white mobile home hoarding situation. And we're here to pop out some more loads. A little different today than it was yesterday. We found out once we got through there, it wasn't as uh, bad as far as hazards go. Mostly dusty. We didn't see a lot of uh, fecal matter laying around. Really not hardly any bugs, just flies. So today, since I always wear long sleeves anyway, regardless of the job I'm doing, and occasionally I'll wear a, a lighter mask, it's not that bad. We are able to open up the windows and doors, ventilate it. So today it's business as usual. We're gonna continue on cleaning one of the rooms and move farther back into the mobile home. Enjoy. Hi, this is Rick again. And we're still at the mobile home that we started that's in the rest of our video. And I wanna share something with you. Uh, we got through, as you can see in the video, we got through the rest of the house, finished up the living room, the bedroom, the kitchen, demoed some of the kitchen. And we got into this back bedroom and you're gonna see the, the, the time-lapse video on that. And it got to the point where we were for an hour with a rake, pitchforks, shovels trying to get stuff out and we realized as, as we got down to about knee to shin high level that we were dealing with a serious human biohazard situation fecal matter human waste and it was not ending and we put the brakes on and said and i'm going to add the picture i'll put the picture and we got we got we put the brakes on and said okay this is not what we do and we got to know our limits and how far we want to go. I called the, I called the, the managers of, of the park and said, here's the situation. They told us no stop. They're going to end up hooking up the trailer, taking it out of here and scrapping it, getting rid of it, hopefully burning it to the ground because it's really a bad shape. So a couple things we're going to do and I want to show you how we do it. I already got started a little bit, but we're going to tear apart both ramps on both sides and haul those away and finish up where we are. Probably got close to a load left to finish up. But we've got a quarter of our load back there with the nastiest stuff you've ever seen. But what I'm telling you is that you've got to know when to stop and to know that it's it's a 
above the level or beyond the pale of what you want to do. I'm not into this. I don't care what the money is. A $5,000 job went to a $3,000 job and I'm fine with it. You gotta know when to put the brakes on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this and uh, we'll let you see how it looks at the end.